Oh my gosh. We'll see if anyone actually joins. I should have put some music. <laughs> inbox it. <laughs> in put it in the inbox. Can you hear me okay? I'm just using the garbage webcam microphone. Hopefully you can hear it okay. Okay. I'm just seeing if anyone else is gonna join and then we can open the box. I have not opened the box at all. I did remove the stickers and the tape from the outside of the box and that's pretty much it. I'm actually supposed to work right now, but I uh, got VTO. So this is kind of how it is. I'm streaming to YouTube from my Chromebook. <laughs> Plot twist, I'm actually streaming from my framework. It's not even in the box. Just kidding. Where is it? Say, oh, it just says one person watching. Okay. You might be the only one. Uh oh, Patrick left his stuff here. Well, looks like I got some, uh, unless he meant to leave that. I don't think he did, though. Oh, hello. Why the heck does it say one viewer, but then that, there's clearly two viewers? Okay, whatever. Two's good enough. You guys ready? We're opening the box, and there is a box inside of another box. So, and this is mirror, of course it is. Power adapter, the most exciting part of the box, obviously. Actually, the power adapter is actually pretty nice how they did it, because it's modular, so if any of the pieces break, you can, uh... That's actually pretty small. I thought it would be bigger. So, it's got, like, a really... Like, a really flat matte texture. That's kind of weird, actually. So... And it's got the little logo. So, the traditional three-prong. So, there's that. And then it's kind of cool. This is actually a right angle or whatever they call it. So that's kind of nice. I'm sorry, my webcam is not probably very stable. It's on this crappy gimbal I bought from Amazon. Not a sponsor. There is eight gigabytes of RAM that I will have to put in because that was not pre-installed. And then these things are pretty small. Wow. USB-C, another USB-C, USB-A, uh, SD card, HDMI, and this is so small, 256 gigabyte. I thought these things would be bigger, like these are like really small. Like, let me, I'll open this one. Wow, so that they actually have one that goes up to a terabyte. Holy crap, this is light too. Like, it's not heavy at all. So, that's uh, 256 gigabytes. Put those over here, I guess. I do need some of them though. Okay. 
Ah, uh, and I cut my hand. Of course I did. Mm. Looks like it's okay. Okay, so no, good. no tape or anything. Cool little design. And uh, there it is. And it is, let's see. I wish I could show you. It seems like it's, it's like slightly taller than my Chromebook. And these are, are these stickers? Oh cool, these are stickers. Here's this tool they give you. I will need that here in a minute. I don't think there's anything else in here. I think that's it. I think that's everything. So. And the weird thing is, is they don't, it's not in another box. That's literally how it comes. Like it's not, this ships from freaking Taiwan with no, no styrofoam pattern at all. This actually like, this this kind of this aluminum finish is like exact like um pretty much identical to my Chromebook. It's not really any different. Then the screen is taller. Mm, I'm gonna be honest. I kind of like the sixteen by nine better. It kind of it's kind of weird how square this thing is. But I'm sure for productivity it'll be like a little bit better. So we'll see how that goes. And this is a fingerprint scanner. And we're not going to turn it on yet. I have to put the RAM in. Um, keyboard is like more smooth compared to my Chromebook. Yeah, this is kind of... It was a little nicer. Pretty clicky. Okay, we're going to flip this guy over though. And... I'll try to, I don't even know. That's probably good. Probably about as good as we're gonna get. Moment of truth, I guess. So the nice thing about these screws is uh, they don't come out. So you can't lose them, which is nice. And they loosen easily, so that's nice. Uh, yes, it is. Well, that sounds not good, hopefully. Hopefully that's okay. Guess we'll see in a minute. Didn't sound good, but okay, it came out, so that's good. And I'm not gonna unhook this. Luckily, this cable right here is actually long enough to where um, I don't have to unhook it. Is what the keyboard looks like, kind of. What is that thing? That's weird. Okay, there's the SSD. It is a Western Digital. Um, the RAM is pretty much the same as what I have here. So that's what we're doing. We're putting the RAM in. Wow. I'm such a good streamer, I know. I hate how this is mirrored. It's annoying as heck. So they actually have extra screws at the top and everything's labeled with QR codes. So you can get instructions on how to do stuff if you need to. This is the wireless card, the RAM, 
battery SSD processors under here, speakers. Okay. Yeah. This is probably the only time I've ever bought something and immediately opened it. Okay, that's, uh, oh, there we go. Okay, that should be in. And this is magnetic, so take this. Hopefully I don't scratch it the first five seconds that I have it out of the box. So these are, uh, they're like little hex screws. They're not security bits. They're like a common uh, screw type. Uh, but they decided to do those because they don't strip like a regular Phillips would. So I'm kind of fine with that decision because some Phillips screws are like really garbage. So let's put these in, I guess. There's USB C. And they just kind of. That's it. Just pops right in. We're going to do A, C, and A. And then. Another C, I guess. But you can just switch them whenever you want, so. And now I gotta decide, do I wanna just put the, the storage one in? I guess I'll open the micro just to look at it. One thing I want to see about the micro is if the SD card stays in flush or not. Let's see. Shut up, I don't care. Whoa there, don't just pop out SD cards. You know what, I don't care. Um, yeah, that just sticks out all the time. So uh, yeah, that's not going in. That's going to be annoying. I, I'm glad I got it because I am gonna need it for some things, but I don't want that in my in my uh, laptop all the time because it well it doesn't seem like it's spring loaded, which is kind of nice because I always pop it out on my Chromebook, but I don't want to deal with it, you know. So I did also get HDMI, so I'll take a look at that real quick. So there's the HDMI. So and they do have like a little QR code HDMI framework logo. So this part's this part's plastic, I think, but this part's aluminum, I'm pretty sure. So excuse me. We will put these back in their little boxes. There's not really a way to close these back up. I kind of don't like that, but it's whatever, I guess. Um, okay. So 
Okay, let's put that guy in. And this is actually, it's a spudger on the side. And it has another bit. It has a normal Phillips bit. So some of the screws are Phillips. But most, but a lot of, I, I don't know if it's only these ones that are the hex ones. I will have to look later, but. That is that. And then let's open it back up. And I'm going to plug this in. Oh, there's a QR code on this too. That's funny. That feels nice. Are these gonna stay on here? Or are they gonna get lost? No, that's gonna stay on there. That's not, that's a big, that's a big, uh, wrap too. Usually they're smaller than that, so kind of nice. Okay. I know this is what you guys all came for is watching me plug in a power cable. And this does have windows on it, so I might install Chrome OS Flex just because uh, I like Chrome OS. But I don't know. We'll see how Windows 11 is and if I'm going to use that full time or not. But because that's what's on here. We'll put this guy in. Okay, that should just just plug into there, I guess. Okay, that's kind of got a nice snap to it, I suppose. I can, I could actually use my existing charging uh, cable. I actually have two that should work, but uh, I have too much crap everywhere, I swear. Okay, plug this guy in. Okay, plugging it in. That's not good. I'll give it a sec, I guess. I mean, the only thing that could really be screwed up is, I guess I could have unplugged the screen. That's very possible. And also, I could have not put the RAM in well, which is also possible. Because I would assume it would not take this long to turn on. So let's unplug that for a sec. Oh, it's kind of hard to get out. And uh, see, I think it's the screen because if it wasn't, I don't think, it, I think if I single clicked it, it would turn off. Okay, that's kind of annoying. We're gonna make bad life, bad life decisions here. I'm just, well, now I gotta. Get all these out. Come on. Well, not a very good first experience for taking these stupid modules out.
Okay. Wow, that's cool. There it goes. That was kind of hard to get out. I guess I maybe could have left those in. I don't actually feel like they would stop me from opening, but... Hopefully it's just the screen that I have to... Well, you know what? I'm stupid because... I didn't touch the screen. I'm thinking of the keyboard. Uh, so it's got to be the RAM then. In which case, we definitely want to turn the computer off. I guess we need to really do that anyways, but the screw is kind of stuck and it's annoying. Okay, fine. Hopefully that's all I need to do. Because this is clearly not turning on. The fan is running and everything though. So let me just make sure that is in there correctly. The RAM looks fine though, is the thing. How are you supposed to get this out? Just pull these, I guess. Okay. And there's no way I could put it in upside down because it doesn't key that way. Okay, well that felt like it went in better. Okay, I don't... I'll double check the screen. I don't, where does the screen connect under here? They make it look so easy to pull this bezel off. Wow, that's on there. Yeah, it is. <laughs> but it's not, nothing's showing on the screen right now, so I don't know what's going on. Well, I turned it off now, to be clear. So I was trying to pull this off to, uh, double check this cable down here. I want to break this piece of plastic though. Okay, may hopefully it's just the RAM. Let's just put this back and uh, <laughs> hope hopefully it's the RAM and that I just put it back in and it turns on because if it doesn't turn on, that'll kind of suck because I barely just got it. So, I'm assuming after you take these in and out a few times that uh, it'll be a little bit easier. Excuse me. 
okay, whatever. Yeah, but I had to install RAM, so... But yeah, it, that's pretty much where we're at. What the freaking heck? The only other thing I can think is it's like trying to boot from the empty drive, but why would it not show anything on the screen? And it should have Windows on it, so... Oh, there it goes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this thing's stressing me out. Okay, it's turning on. Now that I got the instructions out. I don't know why I would need anything in these instructions anyways, though. That was freaking that was freaking scary like okay this it's been it's been a little bit of a a, a stressful experience so far but the screen looks really nice really bright um unfortunately it is not a touch screen which kind of sucks i kind of wish that it was yes this is such a weird window setup uh, no, I guess Japanese, but I don't use Japanese that much. Oh no, the internet has my Wi-Fi passwords. <laughs> I hope it lets me sign into my Microsoft account or like from my phone or something. That would be kind of nice. We'll see. You, you guys can't even see the screen, can you? Wow, that's cool. I am a professional streamer. Oh, and you can see me through my TV reflection. That's kind of hilarious. Well, I, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I, I heard people don't like it, so. I wonder how updated these things are. I guess I can plug this back in. <laughs> Sit back while magic happens. Okay, Microsoft. This is like... I don't like... I hope that becomes like a little more loose over time, because it feels not that great. I think everything else, like, except for the whole not turning on immediately thing, which was probably caused by myself, um, everything feels solid for the most part. The only other complaint I would really have is I had, it was kind of hard to get one of the modules out when I did need to take it out. And the one screw on here is kind of messed up, but it actually opens so that's really the big thing that matters i guess just a moment we gotta do 500 things this i, I don't like windows everything takes too dang long on windows and these actually these turn on and off like they disconnect like it's like a hardware disconnect for the webcam and the microphone yeah, yeah, I probably will. Oh boy, updates. This is why in this in this respect, Chrome OS is hands down way better than Windows because updates are imaged. So like there's not like individual updates. It just updates the whole system in one image and it restarts and then that's it. So uh, where's my phone? Okay, it's over here. Name your device. Matt's laptop. I could name it Matt's framework, but I'm not going to. Oh, come on. I 
I can't believe we live in the year 2022 and we still can't use special characters in our computer names. Like, just have... I don't know. I'm sure there's a way to fix that. Like, it's kind of stupid. Sign in with security key. What's my, as one of my other sign in options to use my phone? Of course it's not, that would be too easy. Okay. Um, let me just uh, type this, this in. Will you look at the stream? <laughs> uh, I don't even, I don't even, I don't even know what my password is. I like this keyboard though. It's kind of got like a soft rubber, like, like, yeah, like a soft rubber feel to it in a good way. Where the uh, my my other old computer has like a hard plastic feel, like it feels like kind of cheap by comparison. And also my old laptop. Let me show you. The keys are these crappy silver ones. It's like they do have the letters on them, but you can like barely see them. And I kind of hate it. Yeah, I'm going to... If I if I put Chrome OS on here, it'll be dual booted because I know I need Windows for streaming and stuff. Because like, yes, technically I'm streaming from my Chromebook, but I can't stream to Twitch from my Chromebook because I can't use Streamlabs on it. I got to figure out what my password is because I don't know what it is because all my passwords are random. Who would have guessed that was my password? Okay, that looks right, I guess. Really? That's not my password. Oh, no, it's not. I'm stupid. Uh, okay, yeah. Um. Oh, is it literally that? Cool. I... I have a freaking code. I have an authenticator. I should anyways. Uh, cool. Microsoft is not on here. So apparently I don't have that code. Apparently I have to email it to my other email, which seems kind of convoluted, but okay. Oh my gosh. I hate this crap that Microsoft does. I always wait for the code to come to my email and then they actually are asking you to verify your email. Yeah, there has been like a kind of Chromebook wannabe version of Windows 10 but it was kind of trash from what I heard because you, you couldn't run regular apps on it, which kind of defeats the purpose of running Windows. The thing, the thing about Windows that they need to fix is they need to make it so OS updates are imaged. 
Like that's just all there is to it. Uh, yes, please finger, do the fingerprint sensor. So if I didn't already say this, the, um, the power button is a fingerprint sensor. So there we go. Fingerprints all around. Set a pin. Oh, cool. I am. Cool. Unlike Chrome OS, you can actually do a four digit pin instead of a freaking forced six digit pin, which I hate. A store from Matt's desktop. Uh, uh, probably not. Let's just clean, go in clean. I mean, I want less bloat, of course. Whatever. I don't even. Uh, Taylor experience. Whatever. They're going to track me anyways. <sighs> Customize your experience. I think I'm good, probably. I guess we could do... Oh, is this... Oh, yeah, I don't want that. Skip that. Yeah, just... Yeah, set up one drive. I don't care. Yeah, so uh, no, I don't want that. Man, they really try and get you in here, don't they? I haven't. I don't even remember when the last time I set up Windows is. Like, I couldn't tell you. Hi, we're still setting things up because Windows. <laughs> has to go through three hours of setup. If this was a Chromebook, I would have been in 20 minutes ago. Well, here we go, boys. And then as soon as it's done, I'm going to have to go back to work. Yeah, that like one of the reasons why they have to image Windows is because of the driver updates, probably. But it seems like they could just have the driver updates separate and then not deal with that. So that's like the biggest difference between a Chromebook and Windows is like Chromebooks only have so many set specs where Windows can be just like basically anything. So. so even though there are a lot of different Chromebook specs, they have like different boards that they they certify every year. Yeah, I hate that square look. The non-16 16, 6, 16 by 9, is that what it is? This really reminds me of Chrome OS, what they tried to do with Chrome OS for a while. Uh, wow, this is like a lot different actually. Display settings. What is the screen? Isn't it like 1440p or something? HDR, ooh. We got the HDR boys. HDR not supported. Okay, cool. Battery life options. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't... Gaming. I do want the game bar, which is on. Cool. The graphics. Is Winget, is Winget a thing? Like, Well, we'll see if... 
I don't think Steam's on here. Let's check though. Down <laughs> downloading. What is this? Uh desktop widgets. I thought widgets weren't a thing anymore. Well, I know Steam's just it's the Steam's not on here. But I mean like I was gonna see if it's in the Windows store. If it's not, I was gonna use Winget. Is the terminal on here? Wow, that that was weird. Yeah, that's gonna be not on here. Cool. I'm is this Hmm, guess that's fine, whatever. Terminal. Well, at least the terminal's on here. That's kind of large. When get when get is not recognized. It's not. Do I need Oh, this is PowerShell. Um, how do I do like a C? Is it PowerShell? Well, let's try this. Huh. I don't, let's not and say we did. Sign into Google and continue. Huh, that's kind of cool. I could do that and be lazy and you know, whatever. Just sync it, I guess. And I'm going to give away my email. That's not even the right one anyways. So good luck with that. Here, look at this. <laughs> I can actually type really fast on this thing. I like that. That's nice. Oh. oh, press the volume. Volume down, yeah. Cool. I haven't had to do that for a while. Yeah, yeah, just whatever. Uh, let's not and see what we did. Oh boy. <laughs> Use Wenget. That's what I want. <laughs> Install Wenget. I thought Wenget was already installed. Um oh my gosh, why? I love it when it's like, oh you're logged in. We need to log in again. Winget is only supported or later. Yes, I know that. After app installer is installed. Uh... Cool. Yeah, it's Windows 11. We can't, we can't. Are you freaking kidding me, Windows? Or Microsoft? I don't. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's not a back button on here. That's kind of annoying. That's one nice thing about the Chrome OS layout is they actually have like a forward and back at the top.
Are you freaking kidding me right now? No, 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 that's not what I want. Windows Insider Dev Channel. Huh. Whatever, that's not really what I want, but. Where's, where's the freaking download? I thought that Wingate was just in part of Windows already. Yeah, I think your processor is like one generation too old or something stupid like that. This is a 12th gen processor, so... I don't... What's going on? Like... Where's the freaking installer? Is this the installer? Um, no. Bro, this is driving. Okay, that works, but it's the opposite of what it should be. <sighs> How to install when get? That's what I want to know. From the oh, okay. I mean, I guess that makes sense. Is it? Oh, it's just called App Installer. Cool. I don't. <laughs> Why? Update. I'm clicking. Okay, there it goes. In my library too while we're here. See if there's any updates. I think it already updated everything probably. Death loop. <laughs> Mixed reality portal. Oh, I definitely need that. Okay. Any other updates we need to get while we're here? Okay, is it here now? Thank you, how is that so hard? Moment of truth, boys. Yes. Uh, how do I do that? I just want the one that's Steam with a capital S. Uh, oh my gosh. I know I'm making this way harder than it needs to be, but I wanted to do it anyways. Okay. Oh my gosh, shut up. Well, that was cool. Um, that seemed pretty quick. Okay.
install Discord. This is why I wanted to do Wingate, so I don't have to go to 20 different websites to install things. I just type it and it installs it. You guys know about this? It's amazing. Successfully verified. Installing. Well, that's doing its thing. Let's turn on dark mode. Yes. Oh my gosh, please. People gonna steal my QR code. Okay, whatever. I'll have to use better Discord later. <laughs> Can I? Can I use Winget to install Chrome? Dark. Thank you. Uh, I actually kind of like that one. Show accent color on taskbar. Mm, no, nah, I'm good. I think we're good. I think that that's OK. Okay, uh, we'll try it. <laughs> it freaking works. That's hilarious. Okay, I love it. Is there anything I can't install with Winget? This is the future, my friends. Not having to go to 20 different websites to install programs. And you can actually you can actually make a script that does it for you. So that's kind of nice too if you want to do that. What? Hmm. Yes, yes. Please wait while Windows configures Google Chromes. This is this is plugged in. Wow, this has not been plugged in this entire time. That's cool. Yeah, it might help if I actually plugged it in. Okay, that's kind of annoying. They got rid of the task manager from here. I always get the task manager from here. Anything else I need to install while we're here? Did everyone leave me? I have one viewer left. One else left. You don't want to inst watch me install programs, you know? What the heck? Microsoft Office is just pre-installed because of course it is. Day notepad, I guess. Okay, well, um, I guess this is it. We'll leave it at that. Um, all these these kind of large icons, let's make those a little bit smaller. Okay. But yeah, look at that. I uh, I didn't go to any websites. I downloaded it all from Winget, which is cool. So we are going to end the stream here today. Thanks for joining us. Probably actually do more streams for PC games now that I have the laptop. 
Uh, but those will be on Twitch. The only reason I really did this on YouTube is because I can't stream to tw from you can't stream to Twitch from my Chromebook, and the Chromebook is gonna go away. So, um, have a wonderful day.